hi everyone and welcome back so here we are going to create a simple baseline monorepo so uh, it's just like a simple folder structure we need to create which is a simple uh, monorepo and that will be using pnpm workspace so we will just initialize the folders add the pnpm workspace yml and i will create apps directory and all because we are going to build these different different demo examples so i don't want to create a multiple repositories we, we can have a single repository and inside that inside that apps folder you can have multiple applications so it will be easy for you to uh, reference in the github repository also github repository is already there i will baseline the code and i will push it so i will just uh, walk you through okay what all dependencies you need what all different files you need we are going to populate all the common dependencies inside the root package json so it is going to have a root package json right inside root package json you will put all the linting uh, typescript eslint or oh, and prettier husky all these configurations you will put in the root package json and then we will create a apps directory inside apps and the packages packages if you have some monorepo packages inside apps you can put all our t3 stack applications and inside packages if we have anything reusable which we can put inside the packages so let's get started uh, we are going to create a simple uh, pnpm workspace and a baseline for our uh, code base and on the same uh, same repository in one of the application we are going to build a twitter clone okay now uh, project this is how you need to create a pnpm workspace.yml and here we are saying this okay my workspace will contain apps and the packages so i will create two directories apps and packages okay and i will copy this thing so what this contains this is saying that inside this workspace we have these two folders okay packages and apps these two are considered as a part of a pnpm workspace okay and uh, this is simple workspace we are creating now we can add a simple package json because we are initializing at the root also then we need to have a package json so i will go here first of all get in it it is repository is initialized and i can just simply do is pnpm in it it will give me a simple package json so that package json contains okay what is the the project name here we will start adding the dependencies okay apart from that uh, what other information we need uh, we need to install all the common packages which we are going to add inside this so this apps folder we will be creating uh, api app let's say i will just name it as express auth uh, express js auth apis okay another full project i will be creating here is express uh, TypeScript API and then the, the, the third application we are going to create is Express TypeScript Mongo APIs I mean you can say production ready and these are the th three different applications we are going to build apart from that we might need a docker compose because in some projects we need a MongoDB access to persist the data okay so we need that and i will just create a readme.md and let's see what are common configurations which we need to put at the root so coming back here let's try to see what all dependencies which we may need at the root which are common across all the projects so i can think of eslint plugins right there are different modules eslint config prettier eslint config uh, uh plugins which we need and then prettier rc prettier and typescript all the packages i'm just trying to add typescript because we are writing a node typescript in some projects currently this is the mix of typescript and javascript first we will write a simple javascript express app and then we will use a uh, typescript commit lint to add a uh, commit conventions on our github messages and ESLint, Husky, 
what other configuration ts just and just so these are the the plug the modules which we need and this on top of this workspace we are going to add a monorepo tool nx so we'll add an nx dependency so these are uh, some of the dependencies which we need so i will just install them add the root package json and then we will create a different express application so these are some of the common dependencies which we need at the root of the project so here i will try to show you what all dependencies we are adding at the root of the project so we are already in this so npm install and these dependencies all will be dev dependencies because here we are not writing application here we are doing the some running some tests running some running some prettier lint or commit conventions all those things are there right so what i can do is npm add okay uh commit lint cli this is the first dependency then we have lots of these dependencies right e eslint prettier just husky and uh, we'll keep adding the other dependencies okay we are adding it to the root because we are adding that to the workspace so it will add all these dependencies to the root and then what i will do is rest all dependencies are same eslint config prettier eslint config eslint plugin prettier just okay here if you see our package json i will just move them to the dev dependencies i think this would be a command to add them to the dev dependencies and rest all other dependencies what all we need we need typescript ts just right i will add them and then i will add the pnpm install okay then we have a eslint dependencies related to prettier so i will just pair this up with this eslint config prettier and some dependencies for the commit convention commit gen that i will add here and then typescript uh, typescript eslint plugins okay that i can add here so this is like a simple setup we have done then there are other other dependencies i think husky we already have fbgs scripts to determine the node.js version to allow and no, not allow a particular versions like lower versions we can we can just prevent them okay this is our package json so i wanted to install them so i will do is a pnpm install i just i, I mean i'm using these for each and every project so i just added them this is for commit conventions this is for the typescript eslint plugins because we are using typescript eslint and then we are using prettier so eslint will install a prettier plugin right and these are the typescript eslint plugins based on what you are writing either you are writing a let's say swelt next or prettier eslint plugins you need to add eslint plugins swelt 3 eslint plugin prettier eslint config prettier so these are the dependencies which depends on what you are doing because eslint needs to uh, publish its uh, uh, plugin based on what you are writing and here we can add eslint rc so what is eslint rc in enforce eslint on your project right similarly there is another file dot prettier rc okay which enforce the prettier configuration so when you do npm run prettier write it should be able to format the content and then there is a commit config this config is using this uh, commit, uh, commit lint con convention so i will talk about this what this is commit lint i mean it lints the commit messages and you can see here this is how we install this commit lint conventions and i mean it is helping us to write the proper commit messages with hooks okay and then uh, we have so this is the commit config and same i need to update in the package json commit gen
okay then uh, we have all these things added here what else we need eslint rc now eslint rc i will just use the standard eslint rc for the typescript based projects i mean i can write it but there is no point of write it uh, writing this you can just copy it from your existing project or if you have strict rules these are some of the rules which you want to apply on your project like typescript no empty functions no unused variables no unknown property no console logs if you put uh, zero is i think zero is allowing you if you put uh, off means you are disabling this particular rule i mean it will not throw any error no use before defining if you try to use a variable without defining the classes functions and variables it will throw an error when you are running eslint okay so this is just like a simple eslint config and it is using all these plugins you see eslint typescript plugin that we have added you know in our package json eslint plugin eslint plugin parser all those will be needed for the eslint okay prettier rc this is the prettier so when you run npm run prettier it is going to enforce single quotes false trailing commas uh, es5 so i can talk about this prettier prettier is actually a, a module which is defined install prettier how to install it just uh, we are creating prettier.json or just prettier rc and inside that you will define the rules okay so here are the rules prettier and linter so sometimes people get confused why we need a prettier when we already have a eslint prettier enforce the formatting styles eslint enforce the coding syntax style okay right like function conventions naming conventions how the switch or if else loops would work how we are declaring or redeclaring a variables prettier just enforcing okay double quotes single quotes uh, naming and formatting and indentation basically that okay uh, what is prettier and prettier is common and everywhere it is being used for typescript okay uh, so for typescript there is a prettier configurations we can use okay we are setting it up in the vs code you can also add a pre commit hook so for that we are going to use husky so whenever you do the commit this husky will try to run this prettier on our code base so that we will know okay these particular files are not following the uh, prettier co conventions of uh, using commas variable namings and all okay so we have this is our simple prettier prettier ignore means these files we need to ignore while running a prettier similarly there is a eslint ignore these files we need to ignore when you are running a eslint dist build node modules okay and then just config because at the root we are going to have a uh, common just file that is just a default just config because just is a test runner for running the test against your test which, which you have written so these are some of the configurations you can also add a docker compose yml why i need it because i need to create a mongodb container right for my uh, node.js application so i will just add a definition there this is my apps these are my packages so inside packages you can create a utility okay and then i can just create another packages db db can also be a package here you are initializing the database and all and then oh we missed the git ignore that's why it is showing 10,000 commits files okay there are only 12 files that's good now so we have configured almost everything now we can also enable husky so npm let me see the package json we are using husky and then inside our script we need to add a prepare statement so we can prepare the husky setup npm run prepare so it is using husky and you can see the husky git hook installed here i got the husky folder but it is just like a default we need to have a three different uh, hooks but what, what is a husky if you try to google it
what is the use it's like a git hook made easy so sometimes when you want to commit you want it to run lots of commands like build should be executed or prettier should be should run when you create a commit so we, even before you add the files to the stage or you do add a commit for those staged files before that i need to run this formatter like prettier i need to run you can run eslint you can run the build command all these can be hook attached to the husky okay so what do we have is inside dot husky file we can create a pre-commit file pre-commit and these are the different uh, hooks you can create so what i will do is inside husky i will create uh, some of my hooks so here is our husky i got husky.js so here i will add some of the pre-commit hooks so inside husky i can create a new file which is commit message and what this uh, husky will do is it will use the husky.sh and it will run this commit lint so it will just initialize this commit lint and then pre-commit and prepare commit message these are the two other hooks you can add pre-commit and prepare commit so it will it is running a lint npm run prettier right and it is prepare commit message so this is how it is using the it is preparing the commit message like it will give you the options is it a feature it is a bug fix or enhancement all those things so if you try to do it npm run first we need to add a prettier script on our application so we are using prettier right so i will just go to packageson and this is how i can add simple prettier configuration okay why well, it is complaining So this is prettier and prettier right i will try to explain this what this command is doing so it is running just a, you can see it is running this prettier uh, sh file and running these checks against all these files so npm run prettier so you can see it is checking the formatting of all these files for go to run the prettier so what i will do is i will do prettier right So it will try to update the files by adding the formatting here now we should not see any warning all matched files using prettier code style okay so this is how you can enable the prettier you can also add a lint i mean that is fine i guess lint is also same as a bin prettier you don't need it you can skip it so here we have our basic setup now inside these applications we can create our express app at the root we have i think lots of things type script node modules and all so it's a pnpm workspace right here you can see the node modules right these are like a global dependencies which you have now what you can do is you can uh, have your own package json for these applications and if there is a common dependencies then those dependencies will be sim linked and will be used from the root packet root dot modules because those dependencies will be created using symlink from the root package json root dot modules so that is the advantage this is how the this pnpm workspace maintains the symlink of uh, the the root workspace dependency and the the dependencies which you are installing at the app or the packages so this is application these are the packages and we are good to go now so this is like a simple baseline we have we have added eslint rc prettier rc commit conventions and if i just now how this commit hooks are working so if i do git commit minus m now hook should execute you can see these uh, formatting hooks has been executed and i will do is a git add and i will run this command again so it is checking the formatting and it is giving me these options so who is doing it this is happening through the com conventional uh, commit i mean these are the dependencies which we are using and that is happening through these hooks because when you do the commit these hooks are getting executed and commit message because here it is using commit lint to allow us to give us this 
options okay what you want to enable like it's a new feature refactor i think it's just like a baseline for us that's it now you can just push the developer branch okay so this is a simple baseline for building the production ready uh, services and some demos which we are going to talk in context of node.js and express so see you in the next video there we are going to create a with a, create a simple node.js auth without using typescript because we are first we are going to write a quick and dirty then we are going to make it clean by adding the typescript and all the simplified folder structure adding security to the apis managing the configurations managing the middlewares all the building blocks of express we will do it in the right way okay so in the next video guys thank you